This episode of Capes and Lunatics is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Recording has started. <laughs> Uh, that's right. Hello and welcome to another Capes of Lunatics special. Didn't we just have one last week? That's right. First the Flash. So you know, it's be arrow time. So um, and you can take it up with Phil why we didn't do Supergirl. My thing is we didn't want to step on Krypton Report. That's what my story is and we're sticking to it. I would have done one. I didn't think you wanted to do Supergirl. It's an interesting uh, premiere. We'll talk about it uh, Saturday. Okay, I would have done a special. I love these specials. I am Phil, and of course, I love doing these specials because they get to talk to. <laughs> hey, y'all! It's Lil Hellfire. What's up, Arrowheads? Something I haven't said in forever. <laughs> yeah, remember on Wednesdays we wear green. But it's Monday now. No, it's Mondays, yes. I know. Remember when we used to have that same ring. Remember when we used to do every episode? I do. I don't miss it. <laughs> oh, thanks. We podcast like four times a week together, Phil. Don't even I stop. know. I know. So, do I dare ask what you thought of this? You um, had to you had if nothing else, you had to uh, there's at least two things you had to enjoy about this episode. Naked shower. No, okay. So no, I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic like I am every season premiere. But I thought this was definitely in the top three season premieres. Ooh. Yeah, the, the, the action choreography is coming back up to par of season one and two. Um, but all those flips, either, either it is a red herring or it is actually Roy. Cause nobody does the flippy flips for Roy. That's what I'm thinking. Is it's if they if they I mean we saw him in the flash what flash forward. <laughs> and that's supposed supposedly it's 20 years in the future, but that time I I don't think Arrow knows how to do the maths. Like they're not yeah. William and Felicity level math math leaks or whatever. Cause William's like 12, 13, 14. Who knows? He I mean they write him like he's eight, but he's like. Mechanically, he's like 11, 12, or 13, something like that. But the actor that's playing him is like 16. (sighs) It seems like the first time we saw him, he was like 8, and now he's like 12. (laughs) But he's like, the character's like 13, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, no, I I thought, I I like the prison stuff. Like, I could care about anybody else. Like, okay, Quentin is dead, so this is like, we don't ever have to go back to Star City. I don't care about District Attorney Laurel, Captain Police, freaking um, the other Lance, Dinah. <laughs> Drake, whatever. Um, I don't care about. Um, well, no, I do care about Wild Dog actually. But thank God we didn't see Curtis. Ugh, Mr. Terrible is the worst. We saw oh, him, we but did. not too long. But he's like channeling his inner cyborg. I was just like, no, no, you don't get to say booyah. No, mm. no. What if nothing else? You probably appreciated Felicity getting the crap beat out of her, right? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course I did. <laughs> Not once, but twice. <laughs> you know what? Beth Schwartz greater than Mark Guggenheim at this point. Just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Speaking of which, she wrote this episode along with Oscar Balderrama, who did the um, Arrow Vengeance novel. Who's been a full time, well, full time writer on staff since then. So. That was fun. And who, let me see who directed this. I don't think it's anybody that I, oh no, it's James Bamford. That's why the action was so on point. They need to just have Bam Bam do like everything at this point. And you got your naked shower fight. Mmm, nothing like naked cankles and calves. What's well, a CW? You're not going to get full dong, Lil. Come on. I don't, I need, it's I, not I watch that originals if i want if i want full dog i know i know but i was just like you know not even like the the like never mind no but it was a fun shower fight i can't wait to see the all male pillow fight in episode seven that Stephen amell was piping either in like one of his videos or on twitter i forget which one it was but yeah we uh, can yeah. look forward to that too. hey he, he had a pillow fight at the end of this episode oh wait it wasn't a pillow it was a weight it was a book <laughs> fight in a weight fight but um seeing him work out again just oh the season one feels <laughs> Back but he's basic. all matured now. 
It's got the, <laughs> it's got the goatee, kind of. I know, kind of, but close but no cigar. Doesn't have the point. Yeah, close but no cigar. Well, give it maybe maybe towards the middle of the season. Well, we know for a fact that he he does eventually shave it off because obviously we've seen pictures of him recently and he doesn't have it anymore. Oh yeah, wasn't it? Was that uh, at the crossover? Yeah, he didn't have yeah. it. Yeah. Speaking of which, Superman in a black costume for the crossover. Have you not seen those? Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that one picture of him and like, Grant. I don't think they. I don't think that means what they think that means. I, I don't trust those guys because <laughs> the black suit is my favorite suit. Y'all should know this by now. Well, in so Supergirl, like, didn't they say he was on? Uh, yeah, he's off planet. Ar- yeah, he was on Argo or whatever. So <laughs> yeah. that, maybe that's what he's wearing out there. Yeah. Hey, but it, we, Leave it to leave it to the CW to give us what the uh, movie uh, the DCU. Did that's wrong literally with. what I said. Such shade. They're like, oh, you didn't want to use it. We'll use it. <laughs> um. Anyway, no, I I really actually enjoyed it. I mean, I don't enjoy the choices of obviously, um, Dinah being the police captain because she was there for like all of two mi- two minutes. And I don't enjoy Laurel, who, uh, well, and it's E2 Laurel, but nobody else knows that. But she was a known vigilante, and now she's the DA? What ups? What ups? Maybe she got a deal, too. I, I do. I think Wild Dog was my favorite character. This, Well, yeah. Renee, excuse me. Yeah. Crazy Dog was my so, favorite character this episode. So that says a lot. So I hated we- him the last time. <laughs> So, so how's Oliver going to get out of prison? Or is he going to get his case? He's getting a pardon. You, we know this. He's not going to escape. Well, no, I don't say he's going to escape, but he's going to be able to, like get the case thrown out because look, the arrow's out on the streets. It's not me. And then we are we just going to pull a uh, uh, Bendis on Daredevil, where you know, like half the people believe it. He's the Green Arrow, the other half don't, and it's just like, oh, you're the Green Arrow. Oh, no, I'm not. Wink. I knew that. I knew that when once he became mayor, something was gonna have to give. I, I knew that they weren't gonna be able to keep it at like the comic book level. Mm-hmm. So that's unfortunate. I think if they were to really went that route, because as we see, Starling City is damn near as bad as Gotham. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Star City. Too little, too late for me. Because I was gonna <laughs> start. <laughs> Should have been Star City when it started. <laughs> it's been that way since what season three. All right, but Starling is the golden era of um, Arrow seasons one and two. I'm just saying, when they change it to Starling, that's when it went to hell in a handbasket. Literally, back in my day, Charlie warned you about this. Back in my day, it was good. The first first two seasons. (laughs) It's not just me. That's a critical consensus. It's not just me and my curmudgeonness. Okay, but you said there's a glimmer of hope here, don't we? Have what is it? A new showrunner or whatever? Yeah, Beth took up the mantle. I mean, Mark Guggenheim did write the crossover, and I mean, he's good. He's actually an okay writer on the TV show. It's just he didn't have the managerial skills to be the showrunner. He definitely needs checks mm-hmm. and balances. So when um, Greg and Andrew were around, they they evened his stuff out. But when it was just him, free reign. Oh, but no. So I'm glad it's one writer that's doing the whole crossover. And it's just one through storyline. You don't have to worry about what's going on in Supergirl, what's going on in Arrow, what's going on in Flash. And now we definitely don't have to worry about what's going on in Legends. So it's just this one story. And I think that that's pretty cool because it's always kind of been my theory that the crossover is actually is its own timeline, exists outside of everything. Because mm. if it was the case, Oliver would be in no way in prison because the president knows he's... Okay. Just to say it. And, and she's an alien on Supergirl now, so, you know, cool. <laughs> well, maybe not for too much longer. If it's Supergirl. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, um, yeah the Arrowverse, it's, it's been a pretty good opening, um, opening start for the Arrowverse, if I don't say so myself. And we got some, and we got some familiar faces in prison. Brick, Bronze Tiger. I was <laughs> like, um, so that's definitely not canon anymore that he died in uh, season two and a half. Nope. Awesome, because nope. I love I love him. That's Spawn, y'all. <laughs> it's sad. I, I, I the minute, uh, the minute I saw him, I was like, I heard your voice. That's not canon anymore. <laughs> yes. Now can we bring back the Queen Mansion? <laughs> can we get the budget for Queen Mansion back? I was gonna say, if someone shells out the money for it. Yeah. Oh, you know they're getting that penthouse back or whatever. 
No, I want Queen Mansion back. I I need I need Willa Howland to come back. She's been away. She found all the Lazarus pits, destroyed them. She got Queen Consolidated uh, Queen Industries back. Boom, she's got the mansion back. Season eight, just just erase all the bad. Maybe we'll do, could she show up for an episode or two in this season? I mean, Roy's going to be back. Well, well, he I heard back? that that bad blood has died down between whatever made her want to leave. Oh, good. But I don't think this season. I think they might be able to woo her back for next season for one or two, just to resolve it. If if next season is its final season, you keep saying that. I'm just saying if Arrow Ten. Oh God! If Arrow makes it to season ten, the CW can just suck my. Never mind. Whoa! <laughs> I was gonna call the South Park episode, but um, is there something you want to tell us? <laughs> It's a figure of speech that precisely sums up how I feel about Arrow going on this long. Anyway. <laughs> hey, if, if Arrow makes it to 10, Flash is definitely make it to 10. Oh, yeah. Flash is definitely. It'll make it to It'll be the next Supernatural. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Grant's like going to be looking like Roy in the Flash, in the flash form. <laughs> So, so what is, uh, what is up with that? So we ran out of uh, flashbacks and now we're flash forwarding. Well, I told you they were having a, they definitely struggle without having a, uh, a flash forward sideways, another, you know, or even just those character stories to tell in season six. So they do need to fill the time, apparently. Is this going to be them kind of like explaining stuff this season, though? Because it's like, if that is Roy in the green arrow suit, is it going to be like, you know, in the future, Willem's going to be like, well, why did you take over for my father? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's bull that's bull hockey. Pool hockey. I I'm just saying, like, I was really even though I kinda like hated the idea that it was Diggle Jr., like as you know, and that we got in Legends. Oh, I yeah. want to see that story more than the story that they're about to tell us. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like you literally changed his son for a reason and now we're backtracking on that. Give me baby Sarah back. Okay. <laughs> if that's the case. And I mean, isn't that island supposed to be Swiss cheese? Well, it's been 20 years, you know. You know, stuff grows in Chernobyl now, Phil. So, I know. It was just explosions. It wasn't like a nuclear warhead, like, say, Haven Rock. Still bitter! I know, but, like, William's, like, finding, like, Robert Queen's grave. I'm like, okay. It, it, it's sacred spots, Phil. Sacred spots. It's been, it's been okay. If the flashback is 20 years, add in, what, it's a, another 10 at least? So it's been 30 years. It's been blown up. Okay, yeah, you just found the great... The, the marker. Okay. Maybe, maybe Oliver, once he gets out, does go back to Lian Yu and kind of remark. Or maybe that's what maybe that's ro- what Roy's doing there in the future. He's like the caretaker. Maybe we get to finally figure out the monastery that we've been hinting at for like ever. <laughs> so many questions. But anyway, yeah, I was just like, okay, like I didn't read the spoiler about it being the flash forward, so. Yeah, really. That surprised me, and I was just like, why are we doing, who is this, I was like, is this, uh, I was like, I think, it was some character named Stanley, but I guess that's the guy in prison, maybe. Uh, What, the little guy, maybe? Yeah. Wrongly accused. He looks like a douchebag that didn't get wrongly accused. I'm just saying. We've seen that, I, I, I know that guy, I can't remember his name, but he's one of those actors that's always like a weasel. And one of those shows, a lot of those shows that they film in Vancouver, I've seen that kid. Before. Everybody there is in, is, did what they said, what they were charged with, including Oliver Queen. I mean, if he was black, I'd be more inclined to believe him <laughs> just because of, of the American justice system. It's like, I don't know about you, little man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe and that's just some, um, Maybe this is some Shawshank Redemption style. And what's, up, and what's up with that? The only guy they threw in the hole was the black guy? Bronze Tiger is a douchebag, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he deserves it. I'm like, he's hanging out with Brick and Stardust? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Bet you're wishing for some dead shot and Cupid now, aren't well, you, buddy? <laughs> well, I mean, there's worse things you could do in prison this, that keep your head above water, if you know what I mean. That's that little guy might have to start doing. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you sure do have a pretty mouth. Oh, oh. God. They don't say that. I'm going to be very upset. It's the CW. It's fine, though. The, the slide right past the sensors. And I, so I guess uh, Diaz took the summer off and now decided to go after Felicity. You know what? Hmm. I'm just saying her decision to not be with William. She's being a selfish cow. 
Well, in her twisted logic, it's like, well, Diaz is going to come after me, so if William's not with me, he should be safe, especially if he's in an assumed na- under an assumed name. Is it's not out of the country? I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Honest to God. Like, Easter eggs write themselves. Just just, just let me in the writer's room for two months. I'll was that, fix this whole thing. <laughs> was that what that flash forward is going to be? Is it going to be Roy training... Uh, William B. Slap that water, boy. Oh, my God. If we get a water slapping scene, I will die. Dakota. Oh, my Lord. Can you imagine if that monastery on the island, Roy's, like, training um William. He's training uh Diggle Jr. And just for poops and giggles, Ava and Sarah had a baby, so he's there, too. <laughs> I don't know how that'll work, but okay. <laughs> I mean, lesbians adopt. It happens. Plus, you know, future so- tech. So is it exactly 20 years in the future? No, it's, it's iffy. Okay, because I was going to say... I don't think Daryl's good at the maths. I don't... I okay, because I was going to say 20 would be around 2038. That's not quite this 2046. <laughs> well, he's been active for a little bit, right? Well, tr- maybe, yeah, yeah. I mean, Cersei's already hell in a handbasket, so... They're going to need some saving right now. So yeah, we need William, we need Diggle Jr., and Roy's just like, snatch the arrowhead from my hand. <laughs> That's not the same arrowhead he gave Thea, though. I'm just saying, from season one, it was way more beat up. It was small. Look, look, if you're going to do it, don't lose props. Don't. Maybe she stole it when she left. They're rich people. Maybe they cleaned it up, you know? Well, no, seriously, it's not It's not that rock. I'm very annoyed that it's not the same arrowhead that he gave her when he got home. Right. I, didn't, I didn't see Thea give that to Felicity, by the way. No way. Okay, low-key Thea hated Felicity. Like, that's what the story <laughs> tells us. So there's no effing way. She would have gave it to William herself. She was rooting for Laurel until he showed her the ring, dude. Like, no, she does not like Felicity. Who is she gonna live with? She went to live with Laurel. I'm, I'm just saying. The, the story tells us something different than what actually happened. <laughs> what, what Felicity says happened. Maybe she stole it from Thea. I don't know. Thea did not give her that rock. That's my theory. <laughs> Go back and watch it. I'm not lying. <laughs> I know. I know. But yeah, no, I had the same thought as you is that it's gonna be Roy in the suit. Just to kill all the flips and stuff. I think that's their way of saying, yeah, it's Roy because all the flips and stuff. Although, I mean, now, don't get me wrong. I still love my Nate, my, my, uh, Blake Neely, but it's, it was like some, he's like experimenting with like some techno. <laughs> I'm just like, just give me classic. Just give me classic arrow, please. Well, is it, is it what during the fight scenes, like on the street yeah. and stuff? Well, maybe that's intentional just because it's not all over in the suit. It's, you know. Yeah, I know. But I, I think the most brilliant thing he ever did was doing the arrow um, theme backwards for Prometheus. Like, oh yeah, yeah, that's like the most genius thing. But anyway, wait a second, did Roy ever get any techno music? No, like he that? has his own. He has his own thing from season two. I can't think of the name of it right now. I think it's uh, "What Are You Doing Here, Roy?" or something like that from season hmm. two on the soundtrack. So I'm looking for that music to be tweaked around with a little bit. Because if yeah. it's not, because if it's not Diggle and, and it's not Roy. I love how <laughs> Renee was like, I thought it, I for sure thought it was you. I, was like, I, know, I know. I was like, arms ain't big enough, buddy. <laughs> I was going to say, too short, bro. <laughs> too short. I don't know, because the last time we saw Roy, he was a little more um, filled out. The guy in the suit. Yeah, but still like, shorter, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know, still shorter, but he's still kind of not quite. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's to throw us off. Maybe it's somebody else. I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. They threw Bronze Tiger in solitary. Why isn't, why, why wouldn't in his deal Oliver get put in solitary the whole time he was in prison? Cause Oliver's stupid. You see what he got himself into. I know, but you, th- and, uh, and you know what? Watson was probably like, um, no, you can't have solitary. <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> I mean, you Amanda Waller, by the way. I guarantee you that's who they're going to make. Just mark my words. Wait, wait, what? What about Waller? Adrian Watson's going to be the new Waller. Oh. Maybe. Cause I don't. I haven't heard about uh, the lady that plays uh, Diggle's wife. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't seen mention of her on set. And he's at Argus a lot. <laughs> like, he works there now, so... I was going to say, and Liz Diggle taking over? No, because eventually he has to come back to Team Arrow. Obviously. Even if that K was full with, like, Roy and Dinah and... Look, they're never going to get rid of the Arrow OT3, okay? It's Diggle, it's Felicity, and it's Oliver, for better or for worse. Good. That's this original, to some people, Team Arrow. My original Team Arrow is Shadow Slade and Oliver, or Oliver and Yao Fei, or just Oliver, but that's just me. 
because I'm a grumpy curmudgeon like that. <laughs> I was t- I was trying to see it towards the end there that they had like the the new arrow like in it I guess in his hideout or whatever. Yeah. I was trying to see was that was that supposed to look like one of the old like the original the bunker maybe? Yeah. I thought that, the, that they were implying that because it was underground and they shoot up. I was like, what if it is the old foundry? That's what I was trying to see. I was like, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I mean, they've destroyed so many of those sets, though. Oh, oh, sorry. Repurposed so many of those sets now. I don't know. But yeah, I hope it's the old foundry. That would be actually a, a, I mean, the second foundry that he went to after his mom died. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, any anything, of any of the ones they've used before they went to this new, the latest one. That's straight up the Hall of Justice, the last one we had. Yeah, I know. The green Hall of Justice. I'm just like, He's but, reading the Count of Monte Cristo, though. Isn't that a little too on the nose? <laughs> I know. I saw that. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, at least you could have had the Odyssey as a throwback. Come on, people. Stay with your own damn cannon. Well, that fight at the end, I thought he was going to, like, when he used to, when he rubbed the uh, things off the wall, I was like, oh, mom, like, is he going to escape? <laughs> is he going to just, like. I was like, that's not a picture of, um. Uh, Raquel Welch. <laughs> He's like, no, back to day one. I'm beating some A today. <laughs> That's what that was about. Um, I don't know that fight with the uh, Felicity and Diaz though. I was just like, hot coffee in the face. But uh, don't you know you cannot burn a dragon? Don't you know that? Don't you watch Game of Thrones? What uh, is Diaz that down on his lock? I'm like, wouldn't he just send people to kill her? He likes to make things personal. I mean, he set I his guess, childhood yeah. bully on fire That's in front true. of the girl he's crushing on. Dude's a psycho. <laughs> Just and, and I get the I get the whole point of it, but like don't send the don't send the guy to you know, I'm keeping you alive to tell you DS found Felicity and she's dead. Just kill him if you can kill him. Villains are stupid. Villains got a monologue and villains I got know. a villain. <sighs> so did you like it? I liked it, but it seems like are are half those guards on the take because it seems like most of the fights there's at least one guard standing there not doing anything. Don't you watch Orange is the New Black? No. I bet you the guards... Oh, you don't. So, spoilers for the last season of Orange is the New Black. The guards were pitting the inmates against each other because they had this like weird money pool thing about what Uh inmate would commit suicide and get into a fight, lesbian kisses and stuff like that. So, and I, I mean... I'm pretty sure in real life there are some bad apples that do stuff like that. Oh, I'm sure. And it's a maximum security prison, so if you pit the inmates against each other, they have less energy to go against you. So, I mean, I kind of get that in a way. Yeah, I've heard that, yeah. So, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, guards are incompetent, that whole trope too, so. I just, I'm, <clears throat> I mean, I liked it at the end of this episode. I'm like, oh, I want more, so I must have enjoyed it. But I just it, hope it. The flash forwards took me out of it though, because I wasn't expecting them. Like I said, I hadn't seen the spoiler for that. I yeah, know that they said they were doing a new, new storytelling technique that's technically not new. That's at, like Lost saying the flash sideways are a new storytelling device. I'm just. At first, I thought it was just some guy going to the island in the present. I'm like, oh, we're doing the island again. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, me too. When he's on the boat, I'm just like, oh, I don't tell me we're going to Lee and you, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, are they gonna say this guy is like the like following in Oliver's footsteps to become the new Green Arrow or something? That's or? literally what I was thinking. In a way, we were right. We were technically yeah, right, which is the yeah. best kind of right. But then they revealed it was a flash forward, and Danielle was like, "Oh, I knew it." I was like, oh, "Okay." Hey, don't you do- don't you doubt wifey number one? <laughs> I I know number two. <laughs> Just call me Riker. <laughs> Anyway, um, no, I'm curious to see what the rest of the season looks like. But like I said, I'm usually like pumped up until the crossover. Once the crossover and the mid season happens, I literally don't care until the season finale. <laughs> I'm pumped, but I'm just like, I hope they don't drag out this prison thing because I mean, it was Episode just like last- seven. That's it. That's all we got to get to. I think that they should. He should be in prison longer than Barry was because oh, no, no, I get. I was sick of that. I mean, Barry was in prison for what three episodes? I'm like, oh, we already did this last season with Barry. We're gonna go through this with Oliver now. But Barry has superpowers, and Oliver. I mean, I like. I'm. I, I'm in it for the fights. Just to be honest, the like, naked fights, please. Not just the naked fights. Like I do miss like our high level of stunt choreography that we yeah. used to have. It definitely went sliding down a hill, like um, like a threat from Venom. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
Well, maybe they pump the Willa Holland's uh, salary into the fight choreo. I mean, honestly, <clears throat> the the Arrow Cave has been too big for quite a while. I'm sad to see her go, but if that's where the money went, that's okay. why I'm thinking maybe Diggle, if Diggle's in charge of Argus, I mean, he can interact with them every episode, but maybe he's not in the cave 24 seven. I just, I just wish it was like the whole point. Okay, so I loved Diggle since like freaking day one when he was introduced, and I loved the bond that he used to have. And then when he got married and actually even had the kid, and they showed Oliver that he could do it too. I liked it, but as soon as they gave gave Oliver that idea that you can be this guy and still have a family, they just totally took that focus off of Diggle and his family. Like, we don't see a son. We very rarely see Lila. Give Diggle a life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not just something that's convenient to the plot, you know? that's I think that's why I enjoyed Renee so much, because he got to go out into the glades and stuff like we used to do. Back in the early days, where the city felt like a city instead of set piece to set piece. Again, if there's so many people in that arrow cave, you really can't flesh anybody out. Exactly. So that's why I was really glad we got to see Cur- Curtis's boyfriend. <laughs> we didn't get to see Curtis. So I just, you know, more we saw him more than we saw Curtis. It was just weird. I know that's weird. Curtis was there for like five minutes in August. But yeah. Um. I am curious to see, like, I, like I said, I don't, I think that because he was, you know, he got called out so many times of being the arrow, the green arrow, the hood or whatever, these consequences do need to last a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I mean, like, I was really annoyed with Barry last season being out of the Speed Force and perfectly fine by the end of the first episode. Like, I was so annoyed. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know, I kind of liked it, but, um. You know, I like Kid Flash. Give him some time to shine. And like that that's what I'm like, you have all these other kids. This is the thing about the Arrowverse. All the heroes have all these other sometimes more interesting sidekicks that we could focus on for a little bit more. When he died, I kind of was like, okay, yeah, this is time for uh, well, Team Arrow, Arrowless Arrow to shine. Well, I mean, we also <laughs> had three episodes, at least with him in prison, and we got a bunch of But Cisco he was, we still and... got to see Barry, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the thing, and like Ralph's like sneaking in and asking them questions. They can't do that here, you know. You can get like a visit for two minutes. Okay, and David drove the point home in the coffee shop in the beginning with the guy with the computer. But Felicity is, you know, quote unquote tech whiz. Why isn't instead of witness protection? Why isn't she working in inside Argus where they can like keep an eye on her? Lila doesn't like Felicity. <gasps> <laughs> I, I'm saying, Diggle like, does. Diggle is a uh, when it comes to Lila. Mm. I'm, I'm, they, they've been married twice, Philip. He's he's not repeating those same mistakes. I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. oh, that, that's my theory. Felicity's not as lovable as everybody thinks she is. <laughs> I'm just saying. This, that's my head cannon. That's that's how I see Arrow through my filter. Bitch with Again, Wi-Fi. there's evidence there. There's evidence there. You just watch. Bitch with Wi Fi. <laughs> with and without. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I, I love Emily Beth. Like her, um, the movie that she did was really good. I can't, it's, I'm blanking on it, but it's won a ton of awards at the um, film festivals and stuff. Oh, also, um, Katie Cassidy's Grace. Uh, she just won Best Actress for the Philadelphia uh, Film Festival. It just happened, like, I think last weekend. So oh, yeah. it's not, you know, I'm like I root for these these people outside of Arrow because I mean, as much as I like the Arrow and the Arrowverse, it's the CW, it's the Fox of the New Millennium. <laughs> so I just I want to see them do stuff outside of Arrow so that Arrow can go away. <laughs> oh, and they still have jobs and make money. So, so is Katie Cassidy just going to be? <clears throat> I don't know. Is- Black, are they going to do more with Black Siren or is it? Well, when, they, I think when Diaz and the Longbow Hunters come up, I think that's when we're going to get some more Black Siren. But until then, she does have to play the good girl, I would assume. Well, I was going to say, are they just going to use that as an excuse to bring Laurel back, quote unquote? It's a cheap shortcut, but, um. I mean, that's not per, is that permanent or? We'll see. Maybe she dies too. I mean, they, they love killing Lances in this, in this universe, so. And bring it, and bringing them back sometimes. I would re- I would much rather see her on Legends. Like as much as I'm like I feel like Matt Ryan can just be for just this season because we need to make like I like the rotating team. I I love that idea. It's very fascinating. The possibilities are endless, especially you know if we can get some of the Supergirl people 
and some of the um you know other people and stuff like black lightning maybe when once he officially joins the arrowverse because you know it's gonna happen <laughs> but i mean that was my whole thing it's like even if it could rotate some of those team members but how, you don't have to do time travel every every episode every season i mean you have constant i think they should out. pick a time period every season or something there like you that. go like i love those wild west episodes like jo- the jonah hex episodes are like my favorite like hands down not even gonna lie and you have constantine you can do so much with magic now bring in Z- give me zantana or hell give me nightmare nurse fine just get i mean just something i would say swamp thing but he's already got his own tv show coming up on dc universe oh and- they would never promote it, but that would be a good way to promote it. I say Matt Ryan should be on that show. <laughs> he better be. <laughs> the universal constant. <laughs> how great would that? How great would that? I think I thought I was thinking about that the one time. Think about how well great that would be. You get like first season of Swamp Thing, you know, he's out of calling, all transformed and stuff. And then the season finale, like the last two minutes, Matt you Ryan shows up. in a bar. <laughs> Matt, no, Matt Ryan shows up in the swamp and this says, you're not what you think you are. Cut the black, and then you explain it at the beginning of season two. <laughs> that would be so awesome. That's what I'm saying. Like, I just feel like Matt Ryan as Constantine is. He could be that universal constant because he does the magic, so it makes sense. He can go anywhere he wants. He doesn't need a, a wave rider or the speed force. He could be that constant team. The constant one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But no, I'm I'm excited for Arrow. I'm happy for Arrow. Even Reddit like this episode for the most part. Their general consensus is they like they like it now. I'll I'll check in the morning. Reddit's fickle, like me. That's why I love it. But yeah, um, I just want them to keep up the good work. So I want to just give a shout out to Beth. I think she did a great job with the um, premiere, and I hope she can keep it up. I was happy with him. Yep. I cannot wait. I can't wait for that crossover. I can't wait for Legends. Gary is a Legends intern. I need this. Next week. Oh, and sorry that we interrupted your Constantine time. Who, me? That's what's on right now. Oh. I'm recording it, though. It's okay. So, yeah. Because you get the exclusive sneak peek of Legends. Oh, yeah. Because I was going to say they were playing City of Demons, but we saw that. Yeah, we did. And that's so weird. Like, it's I still the- say that's the weirdest choice that they could have made. I'm just like, okay, because that's an actual comic book arc. Mm-hmm. And um, I was just like, but you promised it's like Constantine. Like, maybe a continuation of the actual show? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean, if it proves popular enough, which I'm sure. I wonder if they'll tie any of that Constantine stuff up in Legends. At least give me Chaz or... um. Let me know what happened with his his guardian angel. Yeah, exactly. Jenny lives, damn it. Jenny lives. I ship it. I live to ship it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I guess we can go. It's getting late. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back to your cell inmate. All right. <laughs> if you want to send Wake us up your, and do it again. <laughs> send us your thoughts on Arrow. Uh, like, like we said, we're going to cover in Legends for uh, Newcastle crew what every week so send us your uh send us your legends feedback uh capes and lunatics at gmail.com follow us on facebook facebook.com slash capes and lunatics at capes lunatics on twitter capes and lunatics on the instagram the gram and the voicemail 614-382-2737 that's 614-38 capes and lilith if anyone wants to be your uh leaking punching bag where can they get a hold of you <laughs> um, if you guys want to, I, I meant to live tweet, but I was just too actually engrossed to live tweet. That's right. So, but next week I totally will. So, at Little Hellfire, if you want to do Smallville or Superman or Swearing, Save Me Podcast, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Instagram. And if anyone wants to do interviews with us, uh, tell us how difficult is it uh, stunt fighting naked, Mr. Amell? Uh, Email me, nightwingpdp at gmail.com, and on Twitter, I am at nightwingpdp. I wonder if he had to wear the sock. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't say the whole name, but yeah. That would be so funny, behind the scenes uh, picture. Or was it just the nude mesh underwear? (laughs) No, there's like so many ways you shoot scenes like that. Speedo? No, flesh color Speedo, maybe. Oh, good lord.
Oh, I wonder if Charlie watched. I didn't hear anything. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> This is like least favorite show. You know how many poor people he's killed? Henchman got a henchman, man. That's the that's the risk you take. And she got a hench, that's all right. Somebody's gotta build those volcano layers, bro. <laughs> that's right, so we'll be covering legends every week for Newcastle Crew. Check it out on uh Cape Saluna Pick Sidekicks podcast and uh Besides that, wow, I'm sure we'll do something for the big crossover. Oh, yeah. Even if it's just the regular episode.